In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Password Manager application or plugin. So let's dig in. Working with online services means keeping track of lots of different email addresses, usernames, and passwords. It can be tempting you to use the same username and password wherever you can to keep things simple. If you use the same password for different services and your credentials are compromised or leaked from any of those sites that you use them on, someone would be able to access your other accounts too. And if you share your passwords for services with other people, you might be unintentionally giving them access to other parts of your online life. So it is recommended that you use different strong pass uh, passwords for each site, which sounds reasonable, but in practice, it is often pretty difficult. To help manage this, we can use software called a password manager. In addition to strong passwords, so you don't have to uh, remember them, password managers can also fill in login forms on the web with your information automatically, and they can store some other kinds of information, like notes, securely. I like to use the uh, secure notes features uh, of my passwords, uh, password manager to keep records of my answers, security questions that some sites require. Securely, many password uh, managers application can also generate passwords for you so you don't have to think up a new password whenever you sign up for new services or when the time comes to update an old password. Usually, password manager software uh, protects all of these uh, passwords and other pieces uh, of information with one master password, which is something you need to remember. The passwords are stored uh, uh, securely until you unlock them. There are a number of uh, different tools for storing uh, passwords, including LastPass, KeePass, and 1Password. Some password uh, managers uh, act as standalone applications, and some have a browser extensions. Many web browsers uh, even have built-in password managers for the website's credentials, like Chrome, Firefox, and Safari are each able to store passwords once you create them right from the website and then give you that information back when it is needed for login forms. Many password managers applications in all of uh, the browser-based ones offer the ability to synchronize your saved passwords to other uh, computers where you signed in. You can decide to enable these features or not. And if you have more than one computer or a computer and mobile device where you, uh, you use passwords, it can be very helpful. As you can see, these tools make it much easier to work with strong passwords and reduce the burden of keeping separate passwords for different sites. But not everyone is comfortable with storing uh, their passwords electronically or sync them to the cloud. If you're not comfortable using software to uh, track your passwords, you can use a notebook to hold them, as long as it keeps that notebook away from strangers' eyes. A software solution is generally much more secure, but some people aren't comfortable with use, uh, using software password manager. Keep your uh, notebook in safe or in locking drawer in your desk. Don't use sticky notes or something that's easy to leave out or to lose. And make sure you leave space to write in a new password if you change a password. As you should every now and then change your password. It used to be a common uh, wisdom to never write down uh, passwords, but that practice leads to people making their passwords short or simple in order to better remember them. And, and in the modern world of the internet, a simple or short password is not secure to protect an account. As I mentioned earlier, setting, uh, setting a strong password that's unique to each site you use much more important. Using a different password for each site can be daunting, but with password management tools, we can make it a lot easier. 
Thank you very much for listening to this video and please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.